press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. See, this is the Indian tricolor or Indian flag. This is the Indian national flag and this is the Brazilian national flag. So in this book, we will compare between Brazil and India. So let us compare between the uh, Brazil and India. The second largest populated country in the world. So India is second largest populated country in the world after China. China is first. Then known for samba dance. Brazil is known for samba dance. And famous for spices in the world. So India is very much famous for spices. Yeah, hum masala bulte hai usse. So spices ke liye both famous hai. It is known for coffee pot of the world. So coffee Brazil ka famous hai. Then cricket is the popular sport here. And here we are having popular sport as football. So this is the comparison, basic comparison between India and Brazil. So now we will see what is the name of the country. So India is called as Republic of India. Republic ka meaning hota hai, this country ka head. This country ka sabse topmost position mein jo aadmi hota hai, wo elected hota hai. So India mein jo president hai, that president is elected by the people. So India becomes a republic. Similarly, Brazil is also a republic. If you take case of United Nations, United, uh, United Kingdom or uh, England or Britain, वहाँ का जो head है, Queen, Queen elected नहीं है, so Britain को हम republic नहीं बोल सकते। It is a democracy, but it is not a republic. So name of the capital is New Delhi. India's capital is New Delhi, and location, extent, and boundaries of India. So India is sharing boundaries with Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, and other countries. So India is located in the northern and eastern hemisphere of earth. So we have seen India is located in the northern and eastern hemisphere of the earth. It is located in the southern part of Asian continent. Asia continent is in southern part of uh, India. Hai. So uh, in mainland India. Now we will talk about mainland India, main part of India. We will not talk about the islands, uh, Andaman, Nicobar and Lakshwadi Island. We will only talk about the mainland India. So mainland India is located between 8 degree 4 minute north to 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude. We have seen how it is located in the north latitude. Now and between 68 degrees 7 minutes east to 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitude. So, yaha se 8 degrees 4 minutes north to 37 degrees 6 minutes north. Or yaha am baat karenge to 68 degrees. So, here it is 68 degrees. 68 degrees 7 minutes east to 97 degrees. So after 96, 97, 97 degrees, 25 minutes east longitude. So here, here India ka location hai. World mein agar India ka hum location find karenge, to aise hi location find karna padega. So Indra Point is the southernmost tip of India. It is located in 6 degrees 4, 45 minutes north north latitude. So here is Indra Point. Ye jo last point hai Andaman Nicobar Island ka, that is Indra Point. So Indra Point, aaj I will, aaj नहीं है क्योंकि जब भी सुनामी आया था तो सुनामी के अंदर इंद्रा पॉइंट सबमर्ज हो गया सो इट इज द सदर मोस्ट टिप ऑफ इंडिया लेकिन ये मेनलैंड इंडिया का टिप नहीं है ये आइलैंड्स का टिप है सबसे लास्ट एक्सटेंट है इंडिया का सो देयर आर वेरियस कंट्रीज लाइक पाकिस्तान अफगानिस्तान चाइना नेपाल भूटान बांग्लादेश म्यांमार दैट आर दैट आर नेबर्स ऑफ इंडिया आल्सो वी आर हैविंग अरेबियन सी टू द वेस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल टू द ईस्ट we are having Indian Ocean to the south. Also, Sri Lanka is to the south of India. These are the different uh, neighbors of India and different land bodies and water bodies that are found near India. So, now we will talk about Brazil. So, name the country. The name of the country is Federative Republic of Brazil. So, Federative means Brazil ke andar bohut sare, uh, uh, sare states hai. Sub states ko milke country banaya. So, that is Federation or Federative. Republic. So, again, Brazil ka jo head hai, that is elected by the people. So, it is called as Republic. So, Federative Republic of Brazil. Similarity between India and Brazil are both of them are Republic. Name of the capital is Brasilia. Location, extent and boundaries. So, let us see what are the location and extent of uh, and Brazil and boundaries of Brazil. Some part of Brazil lies in the Northern Hemisphere while most of them lies in the Southern Hemisphere. We have seen Equator Brazil ke upar se pass hota hai. Equator ke upar jo bhi jaga hai, that becomes a, uh, that becomes northern part and the equator ke niche jo jaga hai that becomes southern part so if you see the map of brazil so this is the equator so equator ke upar bhi thoda brazil ka part hai equator ke niche bhi thoda brazil ka part hai so it lies in the northern hemisphere also and it lies in the southern hemisphere also but entirely it is located in the western hemisphere so this is the this is the rough idea of location what is the exact latitudinal and longitudinal extent of brazil 
So if you see the latitudinal extent of Brazil, so it is between 5 degrees 15 minutes north to 33 degrees 45 minutes south latitude and between 34 degrees 45 minutes west to 73 degrees 48 minutes west longitude. So, this is Brazil's latitudinal and longitudinal extent. Hai. So, the Brazil's neighboring countries and oceans. So, we are having neighboring countries. So, the north we are having Venezuela, Colombia, Guana, Suriname, French Guiana. These are the countries to the north. To the west we are having Peru, Bolivia, then Paraguay, Argentina. These are the countries. Then here we are having South Atlantic Ocean. So, these are the and we are, we are having North Atlantic Ocean. So, these are the neighboring countries and oceans to the uh, north, south, east, east, west of Brazil. So, in the south we are having Uruguay, Argentina. These are the countries that are neighboring to Brazil. So, these are the neighbors of Brazil. So, capital of Brazil is here, Brasilia. And we are having boundaries, international boundaries and state boundaries. So, historical background of India and Brazil. Let us see what is the historical background of India and what is the historical background of Brazil. See, both the countries were under the control of foreign countries. India, British ke control mein tha. Brazil, Portugal ke control mein tha. So, let us see India first. India was under the British rule for almost one and a half century. So, 150 years ago, India, British ke control mein tha. India got independence in the year 1947. Despite facing several problems after three wars, for my situation in various part of the, uh, and similar issues after independence india is major developing country in the world so we have seen in, we have seen last year india has fought three wars 1965 ka war hua 1962 ka war hua again 1971 mein war hua there was famine situation in india jabhi khane ka bahut kami tha but still we are in developing countries still we are most developing countries in the world india is considered as a global market too so global market india mein population bahut jyada hai aur middle class population bahut jyada hai so World ke sabhi, sabhi cheeze abhi India mein milti hai. So, India is a global market. India is considered to be global market too. Because of various economic reforms from time to time, India's economic development has paced up. So, we have seen after 1991, India mein liberalization ho gaya, para market open ho gaya. So, more and more people started investment, investing in India. As more and more people started investing, now we are getting goods that are made in different parts of the world. Our mobile phones, our computers, ya kuch bhi cheeze hum use karte that are imported from other countries. So, India is like a global market. The proportion of youth in India's population is high. So, youth or yeah, young population in India ke population mein bahut jada hai. If you see, 35 to 40 percent or 50 percent people hamare young hai, young generation hai. So, because of this form, major part of the working population, ye jo young population hai, that is working population, ye kaam karne wala population hai. Jo bachche hote hai, 15 years ke niche jo log hote hai, aur 65 years ke upar hote hai, that is, Dependent population, ये working population के ऊपर depend है, so India का major population working population है, India is looked upon as a young country, then historical background of Brazil, see for more than 3 centuries, Brazil was under Portuguese rule, India जैसे 150 years के लिए British के control में था, Brazil was for 3 centuries or 300 years under the rule of Portuguese, Brazil gained its independence in 1882, from 1930 to 1985, we, uh, Brazil was having military rule for more than half century it was under populist military government Waha military ka rule tha. it has overcome global financial difficulties in late 20th century Brazil is seen as the contributor of economic growth world and import, important market in the future so Brazil is also a developing country it is part of uh, BRICS so it is part of BRICS and it is a developing country so now as India has become the world market, Brazil is also becoming world market as more and more people are becoming richer and richer and they are getting money and they are getting jobs in Brazil. So in future also, in future Brazil will become an international market or global market. So this is the uh, look, this is the world map. Here we are having India and here we are having Brazil. So India is Tropic of Cancer pass and Brazil is Tropic of Capricorn pass. Hota hai. In middle we are having equator, Yahan, equator hai. so equator is Brazil se pass. Hota hai. See, we have celebrated our independence on 15th August, whereas Brazil celebrated our independence on September 7th. So, India got independence on 15th August 1947. So, 15th August is celebrated as Independence Day. In Brazil, September 7th is celebrated as Independence Day. India has Federal Parliamentary Republic type of government. Federal Parliamentary Republic means, Federal means, our Union Government bhi hai, ya Central Government bhi hai, or State Government. Bhi hai. Aisa jaha jaha aisa division hota hai power ka so that becomes a federal country aur hamari parliamentary republic hai parliamentary republic means 
हमारे यहाँ पार्लियामेंट है पार्लियामेंट में से प्राइम मिनिस्टर और चीफ मिनिस्टर बनते हैं या फिर प्राइम मिनिस्टर और मिनिस्टर बनते हैं और लेजिस्लेटर से चीफ मिनिस्टर बनते हैं जैसे अपने यहाँ लोकसभा है लोकसभा राज्यसभा में से ही प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनता है बट इन केस ऑफ ब्राजील दे आर हैविंग प्रेसिडेंशियल रिपब्लिक वहाँ प्रेसिडेंट अलग होता है और लोकसभा राज्यसभा वो सब अलग होता है सो इन केस ऑफ अमेरिका ऑल्सो वी आर हैविंग प्रेसिडेंट एज डिफरेंट एंड लोकसभा और लेजिस्लेचर एज डिफरेंट हमारे यहाँ लेजिस्लेचर या फिर जो पार्लियामेंट है उसमें से ही प्रेसिडेंट उसमें से ही प्राइम मिनिस्टर आता है तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर पार्लियामेंट के पार्लियामेंट का मेंबर होता है बट इन केस ऑफ ब्राजील दैट इज नॉट द सिचुएशन ब्राजील में प्रेसिडेंशियल डेमोक्रेसी है सो प्रेसिडेंशियल रिपब्लिक टाइप ऑफ गवर्नमेंट है नेम ब्राजील कम्स फ्रॉम पियो ब्राजील और द लोकल वुडन ट्री सो वुडन ट्री वहाँ का जो लोकल वुडन ट्री है और पाओ ब्राजील वहाँ से लोकल वहाँ से ब्राजील का नाम आया है so hope you have understood this chapter if you have understood please share the video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel for more videos and thank you for watching